Hey guys, it's Neil again from Heart of Texas Armory. And today I wanted to bring you guys a video review of this really cool and new micro mini reflex from Nikon. So this is the Nikon P Tactical Spur. And guys, this is a pretty impressive little micro dot here, uh, particularly for the price. So I'll start off at the price point. You're looking at $200 at my website, heartoftexasarmory.com, and they are available for purchase right now. These things were pretty hard to get it get a hold of earlier in the year but they are becoming more available now and i do have quite a few of them in stock ready to ship out to you guys if you're interested but yeah 200 dollars, so 199 dollars 99 cents is the standard price but i do have a coupon code which you should be seeing that pop up right now to save you a little bit extra money so if you're in the market for a micro red dot in this size uh, this is certainly one you'd want to consider so what we'll do next is we'll zoom in a little bit and we'll talk about this red dot in a little more detail all right, guys, we're zoomed in here so we can take a look at this red dot in a little more detail. Let's go ahead and remove this protective rubber cover that comes with the optic. You can see it fits nice and snugly, and it's nice it's occluded so you can protect your optic when it's not in use. But we'll go ahead and just look at the overall design of this thing. I think it's well designed. Uh, again, this is a pretty new optic here, released earlier in 2018. Uh, but it has a lot of advanced features, which we'll go over here in a minute. But the overall design is very... You know, well done. It's minimal, but it looks cool. Uh, you can notice it's marked P Tactical there on the side, uh, spur across the top. And then here on the left hand side are your controls, your plus and minus for the uh, illumination settings. You'll notice it says 3M away for the dot size. Uh, here on the top, we do have a battery compartment right there that's accessible from, again, the top, so you don't have to remove this red dot to swap out your batteries, which is always nice. So let's go ahead and slide the dot over. We'll have the full specs pop up here on the left-hand side of the screen. So starting with dimensions, from the top to bottom, your length is 1.8 inches. Your width here is 1.1 inches, and your height is only one inch. So a very small and compact little red dot here, guys. So this would be perfect for, of course, like a handgun. Uh, I think it would work great on a shotgun or an AK rifle. Or even, even an AR-15, if you can find a mount that will get you to the proper height if you're wanting a very lightweight red dot for your AR. Or how I would prefer as a secondary uh, optic for your, for your AR. So you might have like a traditional rifle scope mounted on, on your AR. And then you could mount this on top of the scope or on a 45 degree offset. And I think it'd be very effective in that role. The weight on this unit is 1.1 ounces, so extremely lightweight. Uh, eye relief is listed listed at unlimited, which is nice. So you can mount this thing quite a distance away from your eye and still use it effectively, and that's nice. Uh, brightness settings here, very impressive. This this unit has ten illumination settings, so that's pretty pretty good for one of these little micro red dots in the size category. Most of them don't have ten illumination settings, and that's that's definitely a, a advantage to this this red dot. Uh, your adjustment range is also impressive at 120 MOA. And the battery life of this unit, you're looking at 15,000 battery life hours on setting three. So very, very impressive battery life out of such a small package. Of course, if you run the illumination up on higher settings, your battery life will go down. But still, 15,000 at setting three, that's impressive. Uh, the battery it uses is a CR1632, and it is included in the box. Uh, the lens coating here, they claim what, what they call this is true color. And you can see, let me actually move the uh, unit over to the middle here. You'll notice that the color is pretty much true to life, which is very impressive. Most of these little red dots are going to have like a green or blue or red hue to them just because of the coatings they use. This one here using that true color is just like the name says, is pretty much true to life. And that's very impressive. And then the last thing we'll talk about here is the uh, waterproof rating. So this unit does have an IPX7 waterproof rating and it is shockproof, which is which is always fantastic. So it's going to be a very durable optic. You're not going to have to worry about water getting into this unit. So what we'll do now is we're going to head outside so I can show you what this thing looks like uh, outside and then we'll wrap up here with positives, negatives, and my final thoughts. All right, guys, we're back indoors here so we can wrap this video review up. And hopefully you could tell from the outdoor 
footage there, how crisp the reticle actually is. So Nikon did a really good job on that reticle. Uh, very nice. So let's go ahead and just talk about the controls real quick. Very simple controls on this red dot. So uh, quickly here at the top, you do have a battery compartment and it's accessible using this provided tool. You can see how that interface is there. The little X or plus here matches up here, which allows you to easily unthread that to replace the battery if you need it. That's, that's well thought out. Uh, your controls here are on the left-hand side of the unit. Very simple, plus and minus. To turn the unit on, you just push either button. So we'll do that right now. There we go, we've got the unit on. Let me get it centered. Uh, plus or minus, of course, adjusts the intensity. So if we go up, you can see it getting brighter. And of course, down will make it more dim. To turn it off, also very simple. You just hold down the minus button for three seconds, which I'm doing right now. The unit will power off. Now, it does come with a very nice auto shut off. So after 12 hours, the unit will shut down automatically to conserve battery life. And that's that's nice. It does not have an auto back on, so it's not a true motion sensor, but it is nice. It does have that 12 hour auto shut off. So just in case you forgot to turn the unit off, it will power down so your battery doesn't burn away. But overall, guys, this is a really nice little red dot. I think Nikon's got a little winner here, particularly for the price. Uh, $200 before a coupon code, I think it is a really, really good deal. The unit looks good. It has a lot of features that uh, I think you guys will like. I think it's going to be a, a hit for Nikon. Uh, some of the other competitors out there are twice the price of this, and this has better features than those. So particularly in battery life, the illumination settings, the waterproof rating here, shockproof. It's just a nice red dot here. So if you're in the market for a really small micro red dot, I highly recommend it. Now, the negatives, there's not a lot. The only thing I'd really mention is I wish it would have included a riser. That way you could use it on an AR-15 right out of the box. But, you know, that's that's really not a, a big negative. Uh, a couple other things I'll mention, too, that are nice about this. It does come with a five-year warranty. So uh, that's always a good thing. So you are definitely covered. Nikon has good customer service. They'll take care of you. And you should be seeing a video pop up right now of what's inside the box. Uh, it basically comes with um, a manual, of course, your warranty, uh, the tools you need to attach the optic to a rifle, as well as uh, open up the battery compartment. But uh, the packaging is nothing special, but it does get the job done. But uh, overall, guys, you know, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this little thing. Like I mentioned earlier, the price is just it's really nice on it. If you're in the market for one, head over to my website, Heart of Texas Armory. Don't forget to add that coupon code and you'll get a really good deal, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video review. If you have any questions or comments on this optic, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer those. Guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Y'all guys take care.